Hello, my name is Cornell Lewis, and I'm the Executive Director of the Expanding Visions Foundation. The Expanding Visions Foundation is a nonprofit organization trying to increase the amount of youth going to college and graduating. One of the things that we do is we have values that surround family, we have values that surround youth, and we have values that surround people in general. In Expanding Visions Foundation, we're broken into several categories. First category we're broken into is our Career Institute. Our Career Institute is part of our organization and what it does is it trains youth in several different areas such as the Columbus Metropolitan Libraries and the Ohio State Libraries to learn careers. What we basically do is we bring them in for nine weeks and we talk with them and show them how to be on interviews. We show them how to go out and get the career that they want. My name is Jonathan Stone. I'm the Career Institute Director for the Expanding Visions Foundation. This program is one where we actually tap into our networks uh, here throughout Central Ohio. Uh, we've got uh, partnerships with different companies and those companies have partnered to have their employees come out to facilitate our classes. So uh, the students uh, are there and they are learning from people who have been in the workforce for anywhere between 5 to 25 years. And my name is Kim Savon and I'm a sales strategist for a company called Sales Fuel. I learned about Expanding Visions Foundation through a website, Eventbrite, and knew I wanted to be involved. As a facilitator, I've just been overwhelmed with the attitude and, and excitement that the students have with learning about themselves, learning about different jobs and careers creating a resume, learning job skills and job readiness. Then we go on to talk about what it takes to be successful once you've actually got that job. So it's the success in the workplace class. And then finally, uh, we conclude it with a financial literacy class because most of these students, it's their first time having a job, making money, so what do you do with that money? And we teach them about uh, principles of saving, uh, we teach them about credit, we teach them about debt, uh, so that they're prepared once they get those checks. Uh, to do the right thing with their money. The next part of our program is the life coaching portion. What is experienced in this program are three values, connection, correction, and inflection. The connection part of it is when youth come in and they are connected with life coaches who will help them through the process of dealing with life as it is, being able to work through problems and still be able to get to class in, in our career institute. The next part is correction. A lot of times correction is needed. Youth will go off in a certain direction and they need to be brought back. So our life coaches are clear that they will find those youth wherever they are and try to correct the pathway that they're on. The next part is inflection. Inflection being that we want a positive trajectory for each one of our youth as we go forward with them into their next career. We partner with schools. We try to make sure when we go in, we're doing all that we can to support the kids. No suspensions. Uh, we want good grades. We focus on these things because those are results. Part of our program that we're very proud of also is our male mentoring leadership program in middle schools. One of the things we think about in that program is that we make men. That is our motto. We started out that way 12 years ago and we're still doing that today. So while our Career Institute handles all genders and our life coaching also handles all genders, we have a specific thought process towards young men. Marie Seller, I work with Life Care Alliance but also am a volunteer at EVF, Expanding Visions Foundation. I've been a mentor and a leadership and also a life coach for the program for now three years. And the impact of I've seen since I've been here is when we arrived three years ago, the incident rate with young male were up to about 120 per year. After year one, we reduced that incident rate to about 60. After year two, down to about 30, 35. So we know that we're making some type of impact in these young men's lives. Sydney McQuarrie. I'm a youth mentor with the Expanding Visions Foundation. I do enjoy impacting the young men. Uh, I believe they enjoy the classes as well. We teach them life skills and life principles. 
and uh, just how to be successful as a young man in this community. So not just through curriculum, but through a conversation and a connection with a male, positive male in the community from our organization at Expanding Visions. They're allowed to find out more about how to become men, what they can do to serve their communities better, what they can do to help others, and what they can do to become men, become good men. We're here to teach them, we're here to train them, we're here to equip them uh, for the short term and for the long term. Mentoring for life. People are the key to what we do. We do so many things every day for, for individuals in the community in Expanding Visions Foundation, but it always comes back to people. And so when we have people who are volunteering in our organization, or we have people who are wanting to become a part of our organization, the number one thing I tell them to do all the time when they ask me, can they volunteer, what the criteria is, I said, show up. And when they say, well, what do I do after that? I say, keep showing up. Because if you keep showing up, you will find somebody who will recognize the fact that you're there for them and that you've always been there for them. We can't possibly thank everybody who have supported us over the last 12 years at the Expanding Visions Foundation. Some of the ones we would like to thank are Columbus Foundation, Columbus Metropolitan Libraries, and The Ohio State University. We've been thankful to have partnerships with these organizations over the years. It is clear to me that Expanding Visions Foundation belongs in the community where it will always stay because it's because of those people that we are always ready to serve.